Hey, hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. You know, the rabbis teach that in every generation there is someone special who deserves and merits the greatest reward of that generation. And in the days of Noah, it was Noah. In the days of Abraham, the Medrash says it was Abraham. And in our weeks, this week's Parsha, in the days of the wilderness, it was the daughters of Tzlavchad. Now, what was so special about the daughters of Tzlavchad? We know from this Parsha that they were a little upset because they didn't have any brothers, and they came to Moses, and they said that when we enter the land of Israel, the Jews are still in the wilderness, we get to Israel, we don't have any brothers, our father will probably be no longer alive, and we get to Israel, we're not going to get a nachalah, we're not going to get an inheritance, we're not going to get a portion of the land of Israel. And Moshe then brought that grievance to God, and God said, Cain benot slavchad dovrot, that in fact the daughters of Slavchad, they're speaking properly, they should be able to, daughters should also be able to inherit a, a, a share in the land of Israel. And, and for some reason, that earned them the great merit of the generation. They're like the Noah or the Abraham of their generation. And I'm, I don't want to sound cynical, but like, what was so great about what they did? They just wanted a piece of the land of Israel, like every other Jew that was going to come into Israel. Like the men, they wanted to have it for them, for the women too. So why is that considered so meritoriously? So one of my teachers, Rabbi Shachter, suggested that you have to understand what the daughters of Slavchad were asking for within the context of what was going on. What was happening in the wilderness the whole time? The Jewish people were constantly complaining, let's go back to Egypt. This idea of going into Israel, not a great idea. You had this incident with the spies, and then they didn't have any water, and they kept saying, let's go back to Egypt. Israel's a bad idea. And in the midst of all of that complaining and kvetching about Israel, come along these great women and said, we want a share in the land of Israel. We don't want to be gypped out. We don't, we, we don't want to be stripped of the zuchut, of the merit of having a, a, a part of Israel. That's why it was considered so meritorious, because despite all the negativity going around about Israel, they were like, Israel is awesome. We want a piece of it. It's not fair. We can't get a part of it. And I wanted to share this because, you know, there's been unfortunately a lot of negativity about Israel. And MG is going to Israel. We are leaving Bizrat Hashem. Please, God, everything should continue to be well. And they shouldn't shut down the uh, airports. But please, God, everything is okay. We are leaving. We have a beautiful group of MG participants. We couldn't go last year. We're going on Saturday night. And we're going to be in Israel. And I feel the same way that, like, all of this negativity and all of this, you know, it's still looming large. We have to remember what a privilege it is to be part of the Jewish people that we can hop on a plane even if we have to wear masks on that plane and be in the land of our forefathers. And we are going to be following the footsteps of the daughters of Tzlavchad and ignoring everybody else, what everyone else is saying about Israel and saying we want a part of Israel and we want to be part of this great dream of the Jewish people back in the land of Israel. So we wish ourselves that Tzaytchem L'Shalom or Bo'echem L'Shalom, we should go in peace, come back in peace and wish us well. We're going to come to you live, of course, from Israel pretty soon. Shabbat Shalom, my friends.